Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living in retirement having. In order to do that, we have to know who our partner in life is going to be and whether or not they have the same goals as you or me. And when I make these rhymes, I'm trying to not make up time. I'm trying to get you to see that in life, we have to plan our time. When I work with a business owner for my program, The Spirit of Your Company, one of our modules is time management. And we discuss it thoroughly because I ask you how you use your time to try and determine whether or not your time is producing productivity. In other words, is your time invested in certain networks actually producing for you the referrals to business or the actual business that you need or some sort of residual or returning income every month from the people in that room. You see, when we support each other in business, it's one thing. When we play with each other in business, it's another. When we profitable partner or when we make a profitable partnership, that's something else entirely. You see, you can be an employee of a company and you are profiting, profiting by your employment. The company is profiting from your employment and service in some way. You're doing some function for that business. It might not be sales, but you are a part of the internal sales team because you are making relationships with the executives or the management. Now, in life, we can talk about the realities of the world, that if you're not content in your job, then maybe you need to go to the library in your free time instead of driving around on your bicycle in the community and spend some time watching some videos or do that online by using a free Wi-Fi network at the library or using a free computer at the library to learn new skills. Better jobs require different skills. Different jobs require different talents. You can teach yourself those skills and literally transform your life. We have learned that from a Will Smith film where he was an impoverished father selling vacuums and other sort of stuff out of his impoverished home, but eventually became a financial trader and very wealthy because he stuck with it and he wanted to do it. And somehow he met someone who talked him into it. But here's the truth. We can't always be that superstar in a film. We cannot always be the rock star or pop star but with our pants down. You see, in life, most professional people dress a certain way. And when we're on the weekends and when we're in casual wear, we still have to look a certain way because there's never a time that we can't make a business contact when you're an entrepreneur. There's never a moment in time when your fact that you're a mom doesn't impact your life in some way. The hard part is to know whether or not to go forward in a conversation that day or wait a little bit longer when greater trust is on the way. It's true, you can have an instant attraction to someone but be totally wrong about who they are to be for you. At the same time, you can totally ignore someone at a networking event and discover that they're the most powerful person that has changed your entire motherfucking life without your thought that that would happen to you.